What's going on, everybody? Mr. AG here, bringing a Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. This time, it is a singles battle with Z. Now, Z is coming in with Venusaur, Arcanine, Electivire, Hitmontop, Gastrodon, and Honchkrow. Now, I'm running in with Togekiss, my Gyarados, Weezing, Porygon 2. We've got our Ferrothorn and, of course, our Metachamp. So, a very interesting team here. You look at it, and it's... One of those teams that looks like it's got a lot of bulk to it and a lot a lot of fake outs and stall. So that, that could be an issue. It could be an issue. But I think we can handle it. I think. It's gonna we're gonna have to get some luck, but we'll make it work. So here we go. Enjoy the battle. So here we go against Z, one of the best people at my streams, so give it up for him guys, either way. Anyways, here we go getting into it. I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Togekiss, just to be a little different. He's going to send out Honchkrow. Obviously, being Fairy type, that's good for me. So he's going to switch out immediately and go straight into his Arcanine. And he's going to get an Intimidate drop on us. So that sucks, but it is, it's a thing, it's a thing. So we're going to go ahead and run Dazzling Gleam. Obviously, that's not going to do much to the Crypto. And we find out right here that he's got Lefty. So, Lefty's on the Crypto. We are going to eat up a Wild Charge. Totally didn't expect him to have Wild Charge, but apparently he does. So, that's unfortunate. He is going to take a little bit of Recoil damage. We're going to use Hidden Power. That's right. I've got Hidden Power on my Tokus, And it is super effective. Enough to take out the Crypto. I'll just let you all ponder what kind of Hidden Power that is later. Uh, so, anyways. Kepora is going to come out. Or Kipora. And that is the, um, yeah, him on top. Now, usually these things carry the um, fake out move, so I'm going to switch out. He's actually going to run Bullet Punch. On my Ferrothorn, that's not going to do much at all, so that was actually a really good switch. The Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet damage is going to do more than he even did to me, so that's nice. That's nice, that's nice, that's nice. So, next up, we're going to go ahead and send out Weezing. Weezing is a bulky guy, so he's going to be able to take some bulky attacks. As you can see here, we're going to get smacked pretty hard, but we are able to take it, so that's awesome right there. Special defense is going to fall, but we're still looking good. And we're going to get some health back from the Black Sludge. Here comes a Bullet Punch our way. Bullet Punch is going to hurt, but not enough to take us out. So we're going to will o wisp this guy now. So get that will o wisp off on the Kipora. It's going to cause him to, well... <laughs> His attacks gonna be cut in half, so we're in a good position against him now, as he isn't gonna do much damage to us. Now, they're gonna go ahead and actually withdraw now, and he's gonna send out Venusaur, Kanoha. So Venusaur, of course, is a tough cookie. We're gonna go ahead and run Sludge Bomb, because that's what we were planning on running before the switch. But as you can see here, it's not gonna do enough. I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity to switch out while I have this chance. So we're switching out and bringing in Ferrothorn just in case his Venusaur happens to be packing Sleep Powder or something, so it won't affect me. So yay for that. So there we go. There's the Venusaur coming in, and sure enough, it's going to run Leech Seed, but it's not going to affect me because I am a Grass type. So yay for that. Venusaur is going to withdraw and send out Kepora again, who is the Hitmon Top. Now Hitmon Top, of course, once again, can do a few different things. We're going to go ahead and get our Stealth Rocks up. Now, I don't know if this Hitmon Top happens to have Rapid Spin or not, so we'll just have to wait and find out. However, we do realize that it had Citrus Berry, and it did use its Citrus Berry at this point, so that's unfortunate. We're going to go ahead and take this opportunity to switch out now, and go into Weezing. <laughs> Weezing coming in here is going to be able to eat up an attack. Totally didn't expect a Stone Edge, though. So Stone Edge is going to hit. We're going to be able to recover a little bit, and like I said, we didn't expect that. That, that could have hurt. So we're going to watch with the withdrawal of k again. And Thunder Giant's coming in. Thunder Giant, this Electivire is coming in. We actually went ahead and ran Sludge Bomb on him. And Sludge Bomb is pretty much, on this particular wheezing, is my only attacking attacking move for this particular reason. So Thunder Giant's going to run this Ice Punch. We're going to be able to eat it up, fortunately. And now we're going to take this Sludge Bomb attack on him. Sludge Bomb's going to poison the Thunder Giant, which is perfectly timed. And the reason why it's perfectly timed is because of that, the poison's going to be just enough to take him out. 
all in one shot. So it might have, it might as well have just been a one hit KO. Might as well, right? Anyways, Cone's coming out next. The Gastrodon. Now Gastrodon is a beast and caused many issues. We're gonna go ahead and switch out Weezing while we get the chance here, and we're gonna go straight into Ferrothorn. So Ferrothorn comes out next, and we're gonna have to eat this Scald up, which is fine. It's not gonna burn us, right? It burns us. See, getting the burn hacks on me. That was unfortunate. So. He's going to withdraw Cone now, which actually surprised me. I was figuring he might run a Protect just to get a little bit of burn down before he switches out. He sends in the Kapora again. He's going to take some stone damage, and we ran Power Whip. And he avoids the attack, so it kind of null and voids that entire turn. So now we're going to take another burn. So the, the status effects are real. We're going to go ahead and switch out Ferrothorn now. And we're going to go ahead and go into Weezing. So Weezing's going to come in now, and we're going to have to eat up this Mock Punch. Eat up the Mach Punch really well, and he's gonna go ahead and take a little bit of burn damage. That's fine. We're gonna get the Black Sludge, but we're but you know we're looking good. That's the great thing about this. So Kipora is gonna withdraw, and we're gonna go ahead and watch him send out Cone next. Cone the Gastrodon is here, and he's gonna take a little stone damage. We're gonna run Sludge Bomb on, hoping for the poison. If we get a poison on this guy, it's gonna be amazing. And sure enough, we get the poison. I wish it was toxic, but poison works just as well, kind of. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and switch out because we do not want to stick around for a special attacker because they will wreck lives. They really will. So, we're switching out while we get this chance and sending in Ferrothorn. So, Ferrothorn's coming out. We're going to have to eat up the Skull. Skull's going to hit our Ferrothorn, who's already burned, so it's okay. And Cone's going to take a little bit of poison damage. Now, the one thing Gastrodon does not want to take is a grass attack. So if I can get this grass attack off, we're going to be good. But he withdraws, so it's like crap, son of a dookie, dog, crap, poopy, whatever. And he goes straight into his Venusaur. So we're going to run Power Whip. It's not going to do much at all against Venusaur because, well, Venusaur is Venusaur. <laughs> That's all I can say. Venusaur is Venusaur. I, don't, uh, I can't say much more than that. So Venusaur is going to run Giga Drain, it's not going to do much against us, however it does enough to where the burn's going to knock us out. He gets a crit hit, and that's fine, that's fine, whatever. At least we get our Thunder Wave off, and that's actually going to be pretty critical, in my opinion it is. So the Thunder Wave hits, and now we're in a much better position. Ferrothorn is hurt by its burn, so it's basically getting a little bit of chip damage, a little bit of chip damage, but, you know, every bit helps. We're going to send out Togekiss next, and he's going to send out Kapora again. Now, I'm actually very surprised he sent out this Kapora. And the reason why I'm surprised is it's pretty much going to die to the Surf Slash. I, I don't know why he was sending this in unless he just wanted Death Fodder, which, which, would, which would make sense. So he sent that out, and now he's going to switch out to the Gastrodon. Gastrodon's here. He's going to take stone damage, of course. We're going to go ahead and run the Air Slash again. However we mess! We're gonna get toxic. So that was lame on our part. The toxic is real. And it's really sad, but watch what happens next. So Cone's gonna take a little bit of poison damage. And and I'm I'm not complaining about this because it, it's actually what I probably would have done. We're gonna run air slash. We nearly take out the code and he's gonna use recover. It's like, are you serious? Are you serious? He goes up to past half health. So at this rate. I need a flinch. I need a flinch. And this has a 60% chance to flinch. So we're going to run another air slash. Booyah, baby! Air slash! No flinch. And he's going to recover again. You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me, right? Look at that health. All the way back up. We're going to take another poison damage. And we're down to 2 HP. So what we need to do is he's going to take the toxic. We already know an air slash is not going to be enough to take him out. All we're hoping for is a flinch so he doesn't get to recover. We get the damage, however, he gets the recovery off, and we're going to die to our darn poison. So, not able to get around this Gastrodon right now, and it's looking really, really, really bad. However, he is using up all those recoveries, so that's a positive. And plus, poison is starting to add up to where it's doing about almost a quarter health. So we're going to send out Porygon 2 next, who's going to trace his Storm Drain, which means he can't run Scald on so we're going to run 
we're gonna run Tri Attack on the cone. And it's gonna do a decent chunk of damage. Now the good thing is, is he can run Toxic. Now this was actually perfect. I was hoping he'd run Toxic because now what's gonna happen is if he stays in, he's gonna take poison damage. But my next attack should be enough to finish him off. There's the poison. It's got into a position where I should be able to finish him off. So we're gonna run Tri Attack next. And fortunately for me, Tri Attack is just barely enough to finish off Cone. So that was an absolutely, absolutely, absolutely um, just a great move, in my opinion. So Kanoha comes in. It probably isn't, but it's just a, it's a smart move. There you go. Kanoha comes in. We're going to go ahead and run Tri-Attack on the Kanoha. We've kind of committed to losing our Porygon, too. Kanoha's going to take the damage, and he's going to run Giga Drain. Giga Drain does about 50 HP of damage, so he's going to get about 25 HP back. We're going to take the Poison. And it's going to really lower our health down. We're going to go ahead and run the Tri-Attack. Tri-Attack is going to do uh, about uh, and a quarter health the damage, pretty much. And then he's going to run Synthesis. And at this point, we're like, you got to be kidding me. No, with the stall team. But you know what? It's okay. So we're going to run Tri-Attack. Tri-Attack is going to do a decent chunk of damage. And we get, fortunately for us, the Parahax. Um, but then we're going to die to poison. So that's unfortunate. That part's unfortunate. But it is what it is. It is what it is. So we're going to send out Medicham next. And Medicham is good to go. We're going to go ahead and get a Psycho Cut on this Venusaur. And Venusaur is no more. So Venusaur goes down now. Fortunately for us. And now Vatu comes out. Vatu, the Haunch Crowd, comes in. It'll take a little bit of stone damage. And we're going to switch out Medicham because we're not sure if we're faster. We just want to be safe and sure, if that makes sense. So we're going to send out Weezing. And the thing's going to run Brave Bird. Now here's what surprised me. Look at all the damage. It did a lot more than I expected. A lot more. Since he's faster, there's probably no way I'm going to survive unless I get lucky. Here comes the Brave Bird again. Please low roll. Please low roll. Low roll. Roll, low, roll. No, that didn't happen. I lost. So, we're dead. We're dead! It happens. It's a thing. So, Vatu's gonna get the Moxie boost to raise his attack, so that makes it even more scarier. We're gonna go ahead and send out a Gyarados. Gyarados is gonna go ahead and make evolve to raise our defenses, because if we can't raise our defenses, we're kind of screwed. I mean, that's just that's just being blunt and honest. We're kind of screwed if we can't survive an attack from We get the Mole Breaker ability. That's really not going to matter. Here comes a Stone Edge. We are faster. And the Stone Edge is going to be enough to finish off the Batu for a crazy, crazy matchup here. So, great battle here with Z, guys. If you haven't done so yet, check out his channel. I believe he's got a channel as well. And, yeah, I appreciate you guys coming out for this battle. Alright, guys, if you haven't done so yet, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you'd like. And, yeah, remember the road may be rough, but the journey will be unforgettable. And until next time, catch them all.